Good afternoon. This is Louise Mann talking a little trash with you. Some of you all may have heard about the Chinese ban on many of the recyclables from the United States. The Chinese have kind of had it with our trash recyclables. They'll be banning several grades of plastic and some papers. Um, some folks may be telling you that the Chinese ban has to do with markets. Well, I'm sitting here with the WTO, the World Trade Organization memo, and I wanted to read to you the objectives and rationale for the ban. It says that according to the special actions of strengthening the supervision and strictly striking of illegal foreign garbage by the General Administration of Customs of China, the Ministry of Environmental Protection of China, the Ministry of Public Security of China, and the General Administration of Quality Supervision, Inspection, and Quarantine of China, as well as the special actions of striking of the illegal actions of imported solid waste processing and utilizing sectors by Ministry of Environmental Protection of China. Here's where it gets to why they, <laughs> why they put the ban on some of our stuff. We found that large amounts of dirty waste or even hazardous waste are mixed in the solid waste that can be used as raw materials. This polluted China's environment seriously. To protect China's environmental interest and people's health, we urgently adjusted the imported solid waste list. That means the list of recyclables. And forbid the amount of solid waste that are highly polluted. Protection of human health or safety, protection of animal or plant life or health, protection of the environment. Um, from Echo Watch, uh, on Halloween, on October 31, we find that China is really trying to clean up its environmental act. They're taking very aggressive measures. They want to cut wintertime particulate pollution by 15%. They're shutting down steel making capacity and some of their cement production. Steel industry is the dominant source of air pollution. This uh, is a five-month shutdown, though the plan creates a new Joint Environmental Protection Bureau covering Beijing and the two surrounding provinces and ratchets up enforcement of industrial em emission norms. I don't really see anything at all in this WTO announcement about markets. It's all about the environment and pollution. So if you're wondering what kind of things they're going to be banning, well, that seems to be a moving target. But from recycling today on October, I think it was the 20th, they say, the five agencies, and I read all those a minute ago, say that in efforts to comply with the Basel Convention on the control of transboundary movements of hazardous waste and their disposal, China's Environmental Pollution Prevention and Control Law for Solid Waste and Other Chinese Government Measures have targeted 24 items that they're going to move from being restricted to outright prohibited, and those will include eight types of post-consumer plastic scrap, one type of unsorted scrap paper, 11 types of used or scrap textile materials, and four types of metal slag. So stay tuned. This is an ever-evolving situation, and we are so lucky here in Fayetteville, Arkansas, that we have not trashed our recycling by going to single stream, where all the materials are thrown together in a single compartment truck. By keeping our items separate, we keep our contamination rate in the single digits, probably around 3%. Thank you. Until next time, this is Louise Mann talking a little trash.